You hear about it pretty regularly here on CBS 6. What do we want? Weatherized housing. When do we want it? Now. A neighbor of yours can't get an issue with their apartment fixed despite trying over and over. What we want? This Virginia organizing rally of the state capitol Tuesday seeking to show the state lawmakers the human element of those problems. For many people in our chapter across the state, mold uh, remediation looks like throwing bleach on the walls and then uh, wishing it away. Andrea Jackson works on housing issues in Waynesboro and has a rep. I share the mold story. I'm like the mold person. She says many families she works with and across the Commonwealth can't get landlords or rental companies to quickly or effectively address clear and ongoing issues with mold. And so it's one where this, I had never seen mold grow like this. It was grow, growing on the baby uh, high chair. It, it just was like fast. As soon as they would wipe it down and put the bleach or whatever, it would just grow back. Mold protections for tenants, just one of the pieces of legislation the group is urging attention. They're supporting a bill that would allow cities and counties to take action on behalf of a tenant if a landlord doesn't take appropriate action to fix a clear safety or health issue at a rental unit. Another would prevent utilities from shutting off someone's power or water when it's really hot or cold outside. And it can happen to anybody, truly. The Dummick Warder echoing the big theme of the day for this group. Fixing problems for those who feel powerless, she says, should be a universal good. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that the, the public just needs to know more about it from the people's side. And when they do, people care. Everybody wants to just be treated fairly. And that's what it's all about. And uh, we're just hoping to give people that dignity and respect that they deserve. Each of those bills that you heard mentioned still have a ways to go, but at some point in the process thus far, they've gotten some level of bipartisan support. Advocates are obviously hopeful that they will pass through the legislature and get to the governor's desk and that he'll sign it. But even if that doesn't happen, they say they hope speaking out about this issue gives tenants the ability to do that themselves if they face an issue and to seek help. Reporting at the state capitol, Jake Burns, CBS 6.